This tutorial will explain how to set up the run and build settings for the ROS QT Creator plugin. Uh, to speed things up, first we will start with an existing project. So we're going to open up our demo one for this tutorial. Under here we have two packages. We have ABB and this demo package. Uh, so first we want to make sure that the build configurations are set up properly. So on the left hand side you will see various different items. So we want to select projects. So under projects at the top you will see you have a build and run. So we will select build. Under here under the ROS manager section you have the ability to select the different ROS distributions and source your workspace. That is identical to the command line of sourcing your workspace. It will both source ROS and the workspace itself. And so we'll go ahead and click that. So you'll notice that it updated our environment. You can see down here under the build environment has changed. So it's updated with the latest build environment. Uh, it comes pre-set up with the default uh, make build step, which is cat can make. Uh, you can add any different, any of the command line parameters that you would pass the cat can make under this make arguments. Uh, it comes preset up with a variety of different build configurations. So you have default, which is release mode. You have debug, minimum size release and release, and also release with debug. So you can notice when you select debug, it automatically adds the command line argument that is necessary to do a debug build, same for release. Uh, so we'll set it to default, which is release. Uh, you can also add your own custom ones if you want, and it saves everything. So the next time you open it up, it will everything will be there. So you can add a variety of different build configurations. So that explains briefly the different build settings and how to configure them. Next, we'll move on to the run settings. So under here, you will notice under the run, you have ROS run configuration. So under there you can add a ROS run step. You have two options. You have a ROS launch step and a ROS run step. We will do a ROS launch step. So under here it pulls up a list of all available packages on the machine. So we're going to look for our demo package. So we select that. It or actually we're going to select ABB. Uh, the move it config package and under there there's a demo launch. So this is essentially up here the ROS run step. This is the command that it will execute. Very, It's identical to what you would run on the command line. ROS launch, ABB, IRB, 2400, move it config and demo launch. So that concludes on how you would set up the run configs. And you can add multiple. You can have multiple where it runs them in order. So you can have three or four different launch steps and a ROS run step. And the nice thing about that is for your project, it will save them. So the next time you open it up, you don't remember, need to remember how to run your project. It's already pre-configured and you can come down here on the left and hit run. Also, there's this hammer down here, which is build your project. So we're going to go ahead and build the project. Uh, you go down here, it's the normal terminal output, sh output for the build output. So it built fine. So when you run a project in the new plugin, down here we're going to open up the ROS terminal. You have this normal terminal that you would and you typically would run your projects from. So we're going to go ahead and open up a terminal and do we're going to start a ROS core just in case any this project needs it you could also add that to the the run step but so now when we run the project you will notice that it added a new tab to the ROS terminal which it executed the command line ROS launch and and it opened up the move it config arvis so it's displaying the robot so you can move it around so this concludes how to set up the build and run configurations within the ross qt creator plugin